thank you for joining this lesson. We're going to study Form 1 Physics. Remember to subscribe to this channel and to also share the link with friends. The question number one is talking about uh, define the term physics. It should be known that uh, physics is the study of matter and its relation to energy. Then part B, state and explain any three branches of physics. Okay, there are generally six branches of physics, but we are taught to state three and explain them. We can uh, start with the first one, electricity and magnetism, whereby this is the branch that deals with the relationship between electricity or electric currents and magnetic fields and their wide application. We also have what you call mechanics. This is the branch of physics that deals with the motion of bodies under the influence of forces. It has to also be known that motion can either be oscillatory, linear, or even circular. There is another branch of physics, which is called uh, geometric optics. And uh, when we talk about geometric optics, this is the branch of physics that deals with the behavior of light as it traverses different media. That is where we study refraction, reflection, diffraction, among other properties of light. There is also thermodynamics, and uh, it should be known that uh, thermodynamics is the branch of physics that deals with the transformation of heat energy from and to other forms of energy. We also told, uh, okay, the other branches, there is waves, there is atomic physics, there is uh, yeah, there are, there are thermodynamics. There are six of them. You can uh, follow up with your notes and have the list and the explanation of each. What is laboratory? A laboratory is a room which is designed and equipped for the study of science subjects. State six safety rules that should be followed while you are in the laboratory. So while in a lab, there are the safety rules that you should uh, adhere to. One is that a uh, proper dressing must be adhered to. That is, uh, shirts and blouses must be tucked in. Long hair is supposed to be tied up. And uh, closed shoes must be put on, not open shoes. We also have a, you should be able to work on dry surfaces. In case of any spillage, just uh, wipe immediately. You're also supposed to know the, the main sources of power, the gas supply, and also the first aid kit. Those are things you should know. Again, you're also supposed to work when the windows and doors are wide open. That is to ensure free circulation of air and safety. You're also supposed not to eat anything while in the lab. You're also not supposed to insert any foreign materials in electric sockets, more so when you are in the physics laboratory. Those are things you're supposed to adhere to while in the lab. There are many others. Follow up with notes and uh, consider them. While stating an example in each case, differentiate between derived quantity and basic quantity. Derived quantity is a quantity which is obtained either by multiplication or division or both of other physical quantities. We have the example of area. We have the example of density. We have the example of, uh, they are many, they are many. Area, density, we can have a pressure, etc. The quantities are many, which are obtained from other physical quantities, either by multiplying them or dividing them. Then we have uh, the basic quantity. These are quantities which cannot be obtained from other physical quantities. The example of length, we also have a temperature, thermodynamic temperature. We have a amount of substance. ETC, they are among the seven basic quantities. You can also review them together with their SI units 
and the abbreviations for the SI units. State any two instruments that can be used to measure length. We can have the meter rule. The meter rule. We can also have the tape measure, whereby there are different types of tape measures, etc. Define the following terms and state the SI unit in each case. Mass, okay, mass is the amount of matter in a substance. The amount of matter in a substance. We are told also to state the SI units. Therefore, the SI unit of mass is the kg, small k and small g, you can write in full. It's actually advisable to write in full, the kilogram, kg. Then we have volume. This is the amount of space occupied by matter. So the amount of space occupied by matter is, is measured in cubic meters or meter cubed. We have meter cubed as a unit. Then there is finally area. Area is the measure of surface. That is a simple definition of area, the measure of surface. Meter squared, meter squared, meter squared. Then we also told to convert each of the following as indicated 10 tons to kg. We're supposed to know that a uh, one ton equals to a thousand kg. Now we are talking about uh, 10 tons. How many kgs are going to be here? 1,000 times 10. This is 10,000 kg. The next is 1.2 grams into milligrams. In one gram, there are 1,000 milligrams. What about in 1.2 grams? How many? milligrams are going to be here a thousand by 1.2 this is going to give us a 1200 milligrams we also having a 2000 milligrams into kg we should know that a 1 kg is equal to 1 million milligrams what about 200,000 milligrams is going to be 2,000, 200,000 by one out of 1 million. Therefore, when we have all these zeros cancelling, we shall remain with 2 out of 10, which is 0 0.2 kilograms. Number seven. So we are told uh, a block of glass is five centimeters long, 4.0 centimeters thick, and 2.5 centimeters high. Calculate its volume. If this is a block, whereby it's having a height or a length, then a thickness and a height, we are taught to calculate volume. Then we should know that a volume for such a block, it means the block is cuboid in nature. It's cuboid in nature. And for us to get what we are calling a volume, we need base length times height times thickness. Base and height are going to give us a, or the base and the length are going to give us cross section area, then times the height here. So we need now five times four times 2.5. When I multiply this, I'm going to have 2.5 by 20, giving me 50.0 cubic centimeters. This volume can also be converted to SI units by dividing it by a million. So I have divided by a million. That is a times 10 to the power of negative six. But now that there is a 50 here, we can make it times 10 power negative 5 cubic meters. That is when converted to SI units and written in standard form. Calculate the area of a triangle whose base is 4.0 centimeters and its height 3.0. should know that area of a triangle 
is usually given by a half times base times height. Therefore, a half multiplied by 4 multiplied by 3 is going to give us 6.0 square centimeters. In number 9, the mass of 25 cubic centimeters of ivory was found to be 0 0.04. 5 kilograms calculate the density of ivory in its or in SI unit for four for four max. All right, density is usually given by mass out of volume, but uh, for us to get density, we must be having either grams grams per cubic centimeter or kilograms per cubic meter. Now that we have cubic centimeters and kilograms on the other side, we can convert the kilograms to grams, first of all, so that we have 0 0.045 multiplied by 1,000. This gives us exactly 45 grams. Therefore, now we are talking of a substitution of 45 grams divided by 25. This is going to be, when we take 45 divided by 25, this is giving us exactly 1.8 grams per cubic centimeter, which can be now converted to the SI units we are talking about by multiplying by 1,000. This becomes 1800 kilogram per meter cubed. Kilogram per meter cubed. The next, in number 10, we are talking about a... 100 cubic centimeters of fresh water density a thousand kilograms per meter cubed is mixed with 100 cubic centimeters of seawater of density 1030 calculate part one the mass of fresh water mass is given by volume times density so a volume of 100 and a density of one this is going to be 100 grams because i'm converting this one to one gram per cubic centimeter and this one to 1.03 grams per cubic centimeter mass of seawater volume times density so volume of 100 and a density of 1.03 is going to be 103 grams that is the second mass mass of the mixture so mass of the mixture is going to be uh, the first mass plus the second mass which is 203 grams volume of the mixture in this case we are mixing 100 cubic centimeters and 100 cubic centimeters giving us 200 cubic centimeters of both fresh and sea water finally we want the density of the mixture the density of the mixture Density of mixture is usually given by mass of mixture divided by volume of mixture. Therefore, 203 mass of mixture divided by 200 volume of the mixture. Therefore, when I take 200 over 3, 203 divided by 200, I get 1.015 grams per cubic centimeter, which can also be expressed in SI units by multiplying by 1,000 as 1015 kilograms per meter cubed, kilograms per meter cubed. The density of water is one gram expressed in kg. Therefore, to express in kg, we have to convert one gram of a cubic centimeter. We convert this one to kilograms by multiplying it with 10 power negative 3 because we have to divide it by 1,000. And we also convert the denominator by multiplying it by 10 to the power of negative 6. Therefore, when 10 power negative 3 is divided by 10 power negative 6, we get 1 times 10 power positive 3. And this exactly becomes 1,000 kilograms per meter cubed. Explain the relationship between physics and the following. Physics and mathematics most of the mathematic or most of the physics concepts are expressed mathematically we also have physics and chemistry whereby physics has a branch called atomic physics whereby in atomic physics we study 
the structure of an atom, chemistry, study.